So the skins market has been having a bad time recently. I mean, I made a video saying it was getting worse three weeks ago and it hasn't gotten better since. In fact, the market has taken another very nasty hit. There has been a real atmosphere of fear and hysteria recently. People have been doom posting about the game being in a disastrous state or just having fun about the misery too. There's also a bit of that. But I want to argue that maybe things aren't as bad as they feel like at the moment. Now, the focus of this video is just about the skins market short term. Yes, there is a broader issue where CS2 has released half-banked and needs a lot of work. I'm not going to pretend that isn't real. I do think some of the complaints are stupid and people need to get over it, but there are also real problems, real complaints, real missing features that do need to be addressed. And it will take time for Valve to address it. Valve is working on it. We can see all the patches recently, but it won't be fixed instantly. And we're still looking at quite a wait until there's actually some new content, like an operation or something like that, that people are really hanging out for. There's a long road ahead of us. But that aside, I want to talk about what's happened to skin prices. Because when you put it in perspective, I don't think what's happened to them is that bad. Sometimes I'll hear people say things like that they're happy to see prices go down because it means they can actually afford nice skins. And I always think the people saying that are kind of idiots. I mean, if a Dragon Law fell to about $200, not only is that still a stupid price to pay for pixels, but you probably wouldn't feel like owning a Dragon Law at that point. If the game has gotten to that state, you probably wouldn't want to put any money into skins. And more realistically, even if a Doppler knife went from $1,000 to $500, that is still a lot of money. That is still a ridiculous price tag. It's just half of what it was before. It's still stupid though. And it's not at the point where skins are some random casual expense you're not going to think about. You are not going to buy something like this unless you have faith in it keeping its value. And seeing a knife half in price does not give you faith it's going to keep its value. But markets don't always go up. They have to come down sometimes and skins are not an exception. And if something can go up in price at crazy speeds like skins did this year, it means they've also got the potential to come down in price at crazy speeds. It can go both ways and in this case, that is exactly what's happened. But how bad is this crash, really? I mean, where are we when you look at it in the grand scheme of things? Sure, people have lost a lot of money. I've lost a bit of money. There's the guy who lost $100,000 on his house. There's an anomaly with his butterfly emeralds. People have gotten wrecked. But at the end of the day, skin prices are basically back to where they were before the CS2 bubble happened. And the thing about skin prices before the CS2 bubble happened is that they were at insane historic highs. In fact, these prices were already the result of a multi-year bull run that had pushed skin prices to crazy levels. This wasn't some low point, it was the result of absolute craziness pushing prices to places that were just unthinkable. And then with prices already at unimaginably high stupid levels, they proceeded to double. Although this is a great chart showing the recent crash, when you look at the entire time series, you get something more like this. Does it matter that prices are just insanely high now rather than ludicrously high? I don't think it really does, and in some respects, I'm not even sure it's a bad thing. It's not sustainable for prices to go up so much so quickly. It, it's just stupid. The band-aid needs to be ripped off at some point, and the sooner the better, in my opinion. If there's a big stupid bubble, it's probably not going to be held up by natural demand. The sooner that bubble pops and things can get back to normal, the healthier supply and demand is going to be. And speaking of demand, I think high prices do lock some people out of the market, and not in a good way. If a good inventory costs $1,000, more people are going to be able to afford it than if it costs $2,000. And skins keep people engaged with the game to some extent. They're, they're sticky. They, they make you feel like you're invested into CS. People get stuck onto the game because of their skins. And because of this, you do want nice skins to be at least somewhat affordable. Now, you don't want prices consistently going down either. If you think skins will be cheaper in three months time, there is zero reason to buy them today. 
What you really want is skin prices going up gradually over a long period of time instead. That way people don't feel an incentive to sell, it keeps players stuck to the game, and it motivates people who are thinking of buying skins to buy now rather than later. And that's all good, and it will generally push prices up gradually over the long term, which is what we've seen. But if things just double in the space of a month and nice knives become unaffordable for the average guy, well, that's not so good. It doesn't serve the same useful purpose, and I just don't think it's good for the game or the market long term. Thankfully, markets will eventually correct themselves, and that's exactly what's happened here. Rip bozo to the people with tons of skins. And again, is it bad that prices are simply insanely high now rather than ludicrously high? Was there anything going on here that was even remotely sustainable? And if it wasn't sustainable, isn't it better in the long run for things to be back at more natural levels, whatever the hell that is for skins anyway? Long story short, I'm not that worried about this. In fact, I don't even think it's necessarily a bad thing. We have seen nasty, nasty dips in the market before, multiple times, and at this stage, I, I just wait them out. I'm not worried about them, you know, just keep moving forward. This will happen on the skins market, it's going to keep on happening, and if I'd sold everything and quit during the trade hold crash in 2018, well, I'd have made a very big mistake, and for the same reason, I'm not really panicking here. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. It was a much more off-the-cuff video. I hope you enjoyed it. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.